Okay, hi everyone, welcome to my project. So for this assignment of um, literacy and the disciplines, I decided to create a YouTube video where um, you kind of see me draw parallels between English as a discipline and makeup as a creative, as an outlet for creative expression. So the analogy that I came up with for um, this video is creativity is to make up as writing is to English. So when I'm thinking about writing, I'm thinking about um, the idea of like writing to communicate. So in class we talked about like students writing for themselves and writing to learn, um, but I'm shifting focus to writing to communicate and helping like helping students build strategies and um, ways to better their academic writing um, because that's also a vital part in um, the English discipline is that we want our students to become better writers. We want them to show their critical thinking and showcase that to a larger audience, whether that's the teacher. Um, we want to ensure that whatever our students are writing are is meaningful to them. So. Um, in thinking about that, um, first I would want to say like I thought it's in sh for me like the parallel between like YouTubers or like makeup gurus to like teachers is that YouTubers devote a significant amount of their time to create these videos for their um, subscribers and they're basically teaching them like new techniques or like reviewing new products and like or at least the old youtube videos that i would watch on makeup it would be like they would like step by step go through a makeup look so you can replicate that at home so it's a lot about like modeling which i think a teacher is very much supposed to do like you can't expect a student to become a better writer without um teaching them skills and strategies and ways to do that so i think that's one of the biggest parallels i saw and then the other um parallel that i saw is that like even when a person is replicating a look that they um see a youtuber do um it's not always in the in that order of steps like i think as someone who does makeup I know what I prefer to do before I do one of the other steps. So like the end goal is still achieving that look, but the way that that, that look is achieved can vary per person. And I think that's the same thing with writing for students. Like a student doesn't, there's not just like one right way to write. There is multiple ways to write, um, but students and teachers are like figuring out what strategies and what things do work for that specific student so i think that's another um parallel that i draw in this like video um but yeah so that's kind of what i was getting at with this project i hope my video isn't as like cringy as um i anticipated it to be so like i'm not a makeup artist but I do enjoy makeup I think I got introduced to makeup when I was in high school and I really like enjoyed watching like YouTube tutorials I still sometimes do but I don't practice makeup as much as I used to um, I practiced it more when I was younger when I had more free time I think something that I used to stay committed into doing is like my eyes in terms of like eyeliner and my eyebrows because that's just kind of like a signature thing um that i've acquired <laughs> so yeah um i hope you enjoy this video and that you too can understand how i was thinking about makeup in parallel to english as a discipline So this is me showing you an eyebrow pomade and an eyebrow pencil. I always start my makeup doing my eyebrows, um, setting the foundational work for the rest of the look. Um, 
so usually youtubers also do voiceover so this is what i'm trying to attempt to do but we'll see how this goes so that's me you know trying to fill in my eyebrows as best as i can um going back into that pomade uh, a lot of this is just like the foundational part of like kind of like the foundational part of writing an essay <laughs> next i go into an eyebrow gel from glossier um and apply that to set my eyebrows in place um so yeah that's what i'm gonna do now i originally put that I categorize that not as the foundational part so remember there's no right order to do like makeup now I'm going into taking out more products to finish the rest of my face or to start doing my face um, that's some primer um from poor pe poor professional and i kind of just like dab that all over my face um it's supposed to help like keep the foundation concealer intact so that's kind of now what i'm doing um more foundational work now that's some concealer so for concealer i put that wherever there's like redness or if i have any blemishes or dark circles that's supposed to like help um reduce those like imperfections so i kind of view this as like kind of like outlining or like brainstorming for an essay using my beauty blender now I'm going into foundation so that's kind of the last step of like setting a foundation for your like essay I guess um, I blend that in so basically like your face is kind of like a canvas and you set up that foundational work before you add anything else onto it um, and that's kind of what I'm trying to show here or like kind of how I view essay writing is that you need a brainstorm before you even really begin next um, I use a translucent powder to kind of set all that in place um it's helpful because i have like um a combination skin which means i'm like s like near my t-zone area i'm pretty like oily but then i have some dry areas so that's supposed to help like keep that balance next i'm moving on to the eyes which is the most fun part for me that's a primer that i use I put that all over my lid before I begin to do an eyeshadow look. So I use different brushes and eyeshadow colors to create a look more or less it's representative of like the writing process itself. Um, now I just set that in place. redefine that eyebrow now I'm taking out my chocolate bar toothpaste palette and I'm using the color car um, caramel salted caramel there we go that's what the name of the color is and like I kind of just blend that it above the crease um, you usually want to do like more neutral colors in the crease um, and then darker colors in the outer crease and I just kind of blend all of that and now I'm going into a new color um, this one is called semi-sweet and that goes into the outer 
side of my lid and kind of blending that in with salted caramel with a different brush. Usually the brushes have names, but I don't think that's relevant to this video. Mm. So now I'm just like blending. Next I go into like this darker shade called, not sure what that color is called. But it's like the darkest shade in the palette and put that into my outer lid to blend with semi-sweet um, and now I go back to salted caramel just to like lighten those other darker colors that I applied on my lid And now I go into like a more sparkly color and that's called Mirazepan. I put that on the center all over my lid that doesn't have any other color um, to give it like a sparkly touch. And you know, usually use my finger and like kind of use a brush to blend that in. And then I add like a more golden color, creme brulee, into the center of my lid. Um, Cause I just like, like uh, to combine different sparkly shades. And then I blend that in with um, creme brulee. Next, I go back into semi-sweet and blend some more. Almost done with the eye look. So now I go into another palette, it's called my Tarte palette, and I use the, the two most lightest shades in the palette. And I put that on my eyebrow bone. To highlight my eyes and then I use the same two colors into the inner corner of my eyes to also like highlight that part of my eyes um, next I move on to eyeliner so I use two different eyeliners one to outline and then the other one to kind of like fill in I don't know this is I just do this on a regular basis so um, to me like this part kind of represents like final touches because it's not something you have to do but it's something that a lot of people like to do because it just makes the eye look pop um, but obviously I don't think you would be adding final touches in an essay um, before you complete the whole thing but um, you know there's no order of how to do makeup so I could have done this at the very end but I like to do it before I put on mascara. So now I'm putting on mascara, some more final touches, and now I'm doing contour. So, and making some revisions to my face or like defining my, um, my face a little bit more and just blending in that color with my foundation, fixing my eyes. Now I put on some bronzer to like deepen my skin complexion. Put that all over my face. And then this part goes kind of fast. So I put on some blush. do something to my waterline blending some more colors and then still blending and then I add some highlight to my cheeks to my nose and to my lips and now I'm putting on a lip liner and some lip gloss and some setting spray 